As people age, it's crucial to take good care of ourselves, especially after last year's pandemic restrictions. It's important to highlight the value of aging healthily. The Healthy Living Center of Excellence provides evidence-based workshops in multiple languages to help individuals become more active managers of their health. Healthy Living Center for Excellence's Assistant Director, Melissa Dunnigan, is here to talk about aging well and healthy. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Melissa Donegan. I work for AgeSpan, formerly known as Elder Services of the Merrimack Valley North Shore. Some of my colleagues and I today will be doing a presentation on aging well and healthy. So today we are going to start by talking about what an evidence-based program is, a healthy living evidence-based program, and how they will help you age healthy. And some of my colleagues will take over and discuss three different programs, the Chronic Disease Self-Management Program, a Matter of Balance Program, and our Healthy Eating for Successful Living Program. And then we'll let you know how to contact us to learn more about these programs. So what is an evidence-based program? These programs that we're gonna to talk to you about today have been proven through research studies to um, successfully promote health and preventing disease among older adults. A lot of times these workshops are held out in the community uh, over the course of six to eight weeks. Of course, we have had to pivot the last uh, almost two years and we are also running groups remotely and via telephone. So typically these programs are six weeks, sometimes eight weeks, held once a week around two to two and a half hours, and they are led by two trained leaders. You are with a group of your peers, anywhere from eight to 12 peers, and there's a lot of group discussion, problem solving, and sharing from different experiences that you've had. So how do these self-management programs help, help you age healthy? So these programs are going to teach you life skills that are going to help you manage your life and not just a single condition. So you can have uh, many chronic conditions or just one or just really be looking um, to be more activated and be more empowered when it comes to your health care. So they're going to increase your quality of life. You will leave these workshops with all kinds of tools for your self-management toolbox to help you better understand your chronic conditions and how you can best manage them. They're going to increase your self-efficacy and managing your own health. So we really want you to take charge of better communication with your doctor and making sure that you are the one who understands and leads your care plan. They're going to help you increase independence, mobility, and health behaviors. So again, you're going to be learning a lot of things around better eating and physical activity, and even things around difficult emotions and depression. A lot of these programs also discuss increased physical activity and what that would look like to, to do safely for you. So we always encourage you to speak with your physician, but these groups are, will give you lots of different ideas about ways that you can integrate physical activity back into your life. Increased medication adherence. So really taking a look at your medications, making sure all the medications you're on are appropriate and that none of them are having interactions and help you um, better adhere to your medication plan. We see a lot of reduced pain with these workshops. We share tips and tricks on ways to reduce pain without using medications or in addition to using medications. We also see better sleep from participants, and these groups have been shown to reduce uh, hospitalizations and visits to the emergency department. So that's a little background on the programs themselves. I'm now going to share my coworker, Anna's screen, and she's going to talk to you about um, the Chronic Disease Self-Management Program. Thank you, Melissa. Um... My uh, topic is the Chronic Disease Self-Management Program. It says here, My Life, My Health, um, also known as My Life, My Health, but mostly known as CDSMP. Uh, CDSMP is a six-week workshop offered to adults living with challenges of one or more persistent health conditions. Uh, you would meet uh, two and a half hours um, once a week. 
Uh, each workshop is led by two certified lay leaders. Um, the workshops use mutually supportive models that encourage discussion and problem solving. Uh, the workshops cover different topics each week, such as dealing with difficult emotions, physical activity and exercise, power of the mind, uh, muscle relaxation and guided imagery, pain and fatigue management, healthy eating, communication skills, medication usage, and making informed treatment decisions. One of the tools that we use for action planning is an action plan form. Um, each participant can create one depending on their goals, and it really focuses um, on exactly what your goal is, how much, um, when, how many, and, and how confident you feel about um, reaching those goals. And you would break them down per week here as seen in this action plan form. Thank you, Anna. I'm gonna hand it over to Molly now. Thank you, Melissa. And I'm here today to talk about a Matter of Balance workshop. So um, a Matter of Balance is one of our fall prevention programs. Um, it is being held in person and remotely. It is not an exercise class, but rather a cognitive restructuring program designed to change negative thoughts around falls into more positive thinking and taking control of one's health. So um, a matter of balance is designed to benefit older adults who are concerned about falls, may have had a fall in the past, um, may restrict activities because of concerns about falling, are interested in improving flexibility, balance, and strength, and are um, age 60 or older and are able to problem solve. So during um, the eight two-hour classes, um, participants will learn to view falls and fear of falling as controllable to set realistic goals for increasing activity, to change their environment, to reduce fall risk factors, and to pro uh, promote exercise to increase strength and balance. Next slide, please. Um, so what would you expect during um, a matter balance class? So there's a lot of group discussion, a lot of problem solving, skill building, assertiveness training, and how assertiveness um, relates to fall prevention, um, exercise training. There's a few videos. Um, you share practical solutions with your peers, and there is a visit from a guest health professional. Great. Thank you, Molly. So now we're going to hear from Eddie, who's going to talk to us about the Healthy Eating Program. Thank you, Melissa. The Healthy Eating Program was developed in Massachusetts in 2005 by the Regional Advisory Panel with funding from John A. Hartford Foundation. The focus of this program is to stress heart and bone health and nutrition strategies to help maintain or improve participants' wellness and independence and prevent chronic disease development or progression. The Healthy Eating Program stresses self-management strategies using behavior modification approaches as a core component. The program is conducted over six weeks, meeting weekly for two and a half hours per session. It is an educational and hands-on program using the USDA MyPlate Food Guide as a framework. Leaders are trained to facilitate the weekly sessions using a scripted curriculum. A registered nutritionist or dietitian serves as a resource um, to both the leaders and participants to answer nutrition questions. Um, the Healthy Eating Program focuses on addressing um, nutrition challenges by including an educational component, a resource component, and a motivational component. Information and knowledge-based addresses in individuals in the communities we serve that receive confusing information about what healthy eating is for them. With all the inf um, information on the internet, TV commercials, and marketing of products, there is a lot of conflicting information about what healthy foods are. Is it the right kind of food for me? And what are the proper ways to cook the food? Based on their age, gender, activity level, all of these are important factors in this program. Therefore, the information and knowledge base barrier is extremely significant. Our older adults must have the knowledge about when and how to engage in self-care behavior. 
Next is resource-based challenge. We often hear from our participants how easy and affordable it is to eat in a less healthy way. The convince factor, cost factor, which can be quite a challenge, particularly when we are talking about older adults. Many of them are living on their own. The resource barrier also includes um, access issues like transportation. If you live in a rural community or urban community, we hear many times how difficult it is to get to a place where they can purchase healthy, affordable foods. In those rural communities, it can be a long trip to the grocery store, or in the urban communities, could be using public transportation to get to the grocery store, and that also means having to carry everything back on the public transportation, which isn't always easy to do. Resource-based barriers are another set of challenges that this program looks to overcome. They need the personal skills and community resources required to engage in self-care activities. Next is motivational and attitudinal. We hear about um, quite often from our participants that this is the hardest one to overcome. As we all come to these programs with different backgrounds, habits, beliefs, and attitudes on good nutrition, we were informed by our families, by our friends, culture, and personal beliefs um, and experiences in nutrition. We have many participants say something like, I am 85 year old and I have eaten this way my entire life and it's too late for me to change now. Or even if I change now, it is too late for me to make a difference. The damage is already done. Our participants may come in and say, my mother lived to be 102 years old and she ate fried chicken and rice every day. The motiva these motivational and attitudinal barriers can be much more challenging to overcome than even the resource and the information barriers. They need to believe in the capacity to self, um, for, for self-care and potential efficacy on engaging in the self-care activity. And they need to want to change in the self-care um, activities. During the six-week uh, workshop, the participants will gain a great set of skills of, and knowledge to make an educated decision regarding their food choices and food purchases while strengthening the importance of um, exercise and managing eating habits. We hope to make an impact in our older adults' lives and help them make healthy changes towards their health, and not just because they do not like their bodies, but because they love it. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie, and thank you to Anna and Molly as well. So you've heard just three of the many programs we run in Massachusetts. We run over 20, but they all do have common themes of self-management, increasing self-efficacy, and just giving you the information that you need to live your best healthy life. So all of these programs are available either in person remote online, uh, usually via Zoom, or we do have several um, programs that can also be done over the telephone. So we have um, an email address here that you can email us at hlce at agespan.org or by calling the number you see on the screen that rings at many different people's desks and we can answer any questions you have about a workshop and register you for one if you are interested. We also have a website here for the Healthy Living Center of Excellence that Molly, Eddie, Anna, and I work for. And there uh, are all of the programs we run in great detail. And we also have a program schedule there that you can find workshops that are scheduled around the state. And do remember, many of them are remote, so it doesn't matter where you live and, and we can help you access one of those. So we hope you enjoyed learning about some of the self-management programs run here in the state. And please do reach out to us with any questions. Take care. <laughs>